Hey you guys, what's up? It's Naomi. Welcome back to my channel. So today I thought we would start off with my current favorite um, go-to foundation routine. I apologize if the setup's kind of weird. I can't find my tripod. But that's fine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get started because I don't know how much battery I have left on my camera and my hair is going to be looking kind of janky throughout this whole video. It needs to be done really badly. So if you could just ignore that, I would really appreciate it. I would appreciate it a lot. I'm going to be using the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This is my favorite primer, I think, that I have used in a very long time. One of the best primers that I've used in a long time please i'm sorry with my phone um it does what it says it does it hydrates it grips and i feel like it really does extend um excuse me the wear of my makeup and my go-to foundation lately has been the um tarte found sealer it is a multitasking foundation broad spectrum spf 20 um and it's in the shade light neutral i like to get it a little bit darker than my skin tone um i was saying i like my foundation to be a little bit darker because i am very very fair and whenever i match my skin perfectly um it's almost never the right shade for my neck um and it always looks incredibly dry and crepey really like this foundation it's very lightweight it's really good for every day natural um wear and i just think it looks really really pretty but for concealer i'm going to be using the maybelline fit me concealer i oh yeah my naked fluid is in here too so i use a color corrector and i use a concealer because i have really intense dark circles um i really like the urban decay naked skin color correcting fluid in the shade that i use is pink um it's almost out <laughs> i've had it for a while too so it was like a really good investment and I just target that in the dark areas of my eye and kind of sweep that a little bit um I'm feeling a little extra like <sighs> under the weather I don't know I think I'm sure flying for the first time probably did not help with that feeling I'm using the Maybelline um fit me concealer in the shade 15 it's not lighter than my skin tone. It's not necessarily darker than my skin tone. I feel like it's a perfect match for my skin tone. Um, and I've kind of, especially with the concealer, been liking a more, um, that looks really yellow now that I'm over here talking about it, doesn't it? But, okay, it looks a little dark. But it blends out really nicely. Also, I feel like does a better job of covering too than um, a lighter concealer because once again it just looks kind of dry and settles into my dry patches and once we set this with powder and everything it's all gonna balance out really nicely that's the concealer on I really really like this concealer it's affordable uh, it's at the drugstore you could go to Target Walgreens CVS Walmart pick it up it's there Ulta different prices at each one because the makeup community is whack but you know i'm gonna be using my all-time favorite powder besides the mac next to nothing powder which i mourn the loss of every single day um the milk makeup blur and set i wouldn't call this like matte like when i think of matte i <laughs> i think of matte this is not that powder um i'm going to be using the morphe y11 brush to set my under eye just because it is in my travel kit um, if you guys want me to do a video on all like my favorite brushes, I'm more than happy to do that. And now I'm starting to crease a little. No fault really of the concealer. I just, I have very intense under eyes, so they always crease with me. And I'm just gonna lightly use a powder brush and just kind of lightly shut down my whole entire face and also my neck, even though I feel like my neck is not very well blended from my foundation but you know who cares now that we've set our whole face down it's time to get on to some good stuff and I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes really quickly um, and I might film the tutorial for it maybe 
we'll see, we'll see. Okay kids, we're back. My makeup's on, it's looking good. I filmed it, it's awkward. It'll be fine. So um, my current favorite bronzer right now is the Shady Biz bronzer from Fenty. Um, I really like the color. It's neutral, but it's still kind of got a warm tone to it that I really enjoy. And I'm just gonna use this on this little shaper brush from Too Faced to, on this little brush. And just start kind of sculpting out my cheekbones. It's such a pretty color for me too, I feel like. Like it's really fair, um, but it's still got pigment and it's still got warmth to it and I really enjoy that about it. Have you guys seen that thing going around when people are like taking lash glue and like gluing their top lip up to get a pouty lip? I saw that, I thought that was freaking hilarious. Why am I sweating? I'm back, I changed shirts. It's still hot. So now I am going to use my new favorite blush which is the Makeup Geek Summer Fling blush that is the shade this is what the blush looks like it is very orange very peachy and i love it it's perfect for halloween isn't it i don't know why i just did that this thing is so freaking pigmented okay here we go oh. had to definitely take off a lot of that but you can see how beautiful that color is it is so stunning i swear the high heavens is beautiful because I really love blush, you guys. Clearly. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and fill in my brows. I have been using the Wet n Wild's Retractable Brow Pencil in the shade Medium Brown. It is one of my favorites. Um, and it's affordable. For brow gel, I'm going to be using the Milk Kush Fiber Brow Gel in the color Grind. I like this stuff. I, I feel like I might like the clear version better just because of how intense it is. Anyway, I used the beaming eyeshadow from the Blueprint Stack as highlight, and honestly, I, I could not be happier with the way that looks. That's beautiful. Um, and I used the Ad Amore Matte Lip Cream in the shade Adorable. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the Morphe Gloss. I really like this back And I'm gonna just put it right in the center. Mm-hmm, yeah. All right guys, so that is it. That is the finished makeup look. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I'm sorry the struggle with the lighting is all blown out, but that is my go-to um, foundation routine as well as one of my go-to face products that I've really just been loving, loving. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for sticking around and for watching. I hope that this video was at least out of my hair this video was at least somewhat helpful for you guys um that you might find some products that you want to try out and thank you guys so much for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out of this video it really helps it means a lot but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you on the next one